Welcome to CB Radio, show and tell. I'm number one, and this is the world famous... Wizard 88. Wizard 88. All right, Wizard 88. What are we going to talk about today on CB Radio, show and tell? We're going to talk about radios like these. What's that? Bad. That's a turd. Yes. Okay, so what we want you to know is not every CB radio is awesome, right? No, no there, are, not. there are plenty of massive turds that were made over the years. Lots and lots of bad radios. Lots of bad mobiles. Lots of bad base stations. I see it. I see guys in the group and they buy things that are like this. Or things like this that just do not talk well. They will never talk well, right? No. No matter what you do, you could put this behind a, a 500 watt amp and the audio coming out of this will still be subpar it will never be good, and you're dealing with radios like that that are just not good. No. You know, like, I see people, when I did it, I wasted money on radios. You see them cheap, you buy them, and you're just sitting on them, right? Yeah. It's pointless. I would like to help you guys find good radios that we know are good, right? Yes. So you got a list here. Would you like to go over a list of mobile radios? Yes. We know are good. We know that can be turned up, can be hot rotted up, channels and all that can be done. These are good radios, unlike these radios. This looks great, but it's not great. Okay, so what do we got for the first one? 25 LTD. 25 LTD is a monster if you turn it up. Even out of the box, that's a good radio. Okay, the 25, that's a, that's a keeper. The Cobra 29 LTD. The 29 LTD, the XLR, and the GTL are all outstanding radios. That would be the older 29s. I'm not fond of the new digitally doodads with the new ones and the microprocessing. It's not as good as the old stuff. The old stuff, the 29s, are beasts if you turn them up. All right, what do you got next? 148 GTL. 148 GTL is an outstanding radio. You can find those for like 100 bucks, sometimes even cheaper. Outstanding. AM upper and lower sideband, you can put channels in them, dial a lot, open clarifier, those are good radios. All right, what do you got? Grant XL. The Grant XL is the little, it's the same thing as a 148, the exact same thing. You got the chrome case, I mean the chrome bezel, and it's AM, I mean it's AM, upper and lower sideband. Next. HR2510. HR2510 is a ham conversion. You know what, you got one over there. Let's show them what that is. Here, hold on, we're going to get you an HR2510 so you can see it. It's the gray one right there in the box. On oh. the bottom. Nope. The bottom? Left. One? Yeah, right there. The one with the big knob. There you go. All right. No, not that one. The other one. What? Okay. See, we're going through stuff here. All right. Oh, no, the first is, one, dude, right there. This is a president. Yes, that's an HR 2510. Oh, yeah, I see it. All right. He didn't see the number. All right, here we go. This is an HR 2510. This is a good radio. If you find one of these, you can get them for, I've seen them go for as little as 100 bucks, and they're good. Actually, I've seen one for 75 bucks. But you don't know what somebody's done to it. This is a good radio. I'm not going to show you guys each one, but we're going to go through the list here. What do we got next? Galaxy 55V. The Galaxy 55V. I wish I would have never sold my 55V. It was an outstanding radio. Lots of It had lots of swing. had good audio. Uh, just a great radio. That, that 55V. The 44V is a good radio, too, but the 55V is outstanding. Next. Pace 145. Full. To 40. Okay, the 145 pace is the only pace that I've ever run across that I could turn up and get to function like a 29 LTD when it's hot routed up. It's got a crazy board inside of it with weather band. The weather band is absolutely useless in that radio. It's a sleeper radio. A lot of guys don't know that that's a good radio. They had a 23 channel version of it and a 40 channel version of it. The, the 40 channel version of that radio can be turned up and it is a good talker. Got good ears too. All right, what do you got next? Code 222. 222 is the Dragon radio that we showed you guys that we did before. This is that radio. It is a talker. You have to switch this stupid DIN plug to a four pin regular plug. That's the only hiccup with this radio. All right, next one. Colt 357. 357 Colt is that little itty bitty one with the two buttons for channels. It's similar to a Pro 510. It's not the same at all. It's totally different guts. If you peek it, clip it, it's a screamer. Next. President Grant. The President Grant, the original President Grant with the gray face, right? Yeah. That's either an 858 chassis. I think it's an 858 chassis in that radio. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I... 
It's either a, yeah, it's an 858. I'm almost positive. That's a great radio. Okay, what do you got next? President Adams. Okay, it's gigantic. It's bigger than a Grant, and they sell for a boatload of money. Not very common. We've got two of them, right? Yes. Okay, so the, the Adams is a really good radio, but I prefer the old Grant over the Adams. It's cosmetically gigantic compared to the Grant. It's not a better radio than the Grant, but it's a good radio. Okay, so next. AX44. Okay, the yeah. AX44 Uniden and the PC244 Uniden are basically the same radio. It's a smaller version than the Grant. It's not the same radio as the Grant, but it's smaller and it's a great radio. Next. We got the AR3 3500. Okay, the Ranger AR3500 may be one of my least favorite cosmetically made radios. It's dog poop ugly. I don't find this radio attractive. It's got old school LEDs like a StarTac phone would have on it, but it talks good. I had one. I had the 100 watt version. There's a 30 watt version of that same radio. I didn't keep it because I could not hit an amplifier with that 100 watt radio because if you, I could have done it with my big box, but it was, I wasn't fond of that radio, so I offed it. I kind of wish I would have kept it for the collectability, but say la vie. Next radio. TRC-449. TRC-449 is Realistics Radio, but they took the 148 guts. It's the 148 radio, and they put a realistic face on it. It's a pretty radio. It's got a chrome top and wood grain face. It's cute, and it's pretty, but it's a 148 when it comes down to it. Next. T-Berry Stalker 9. T-Berry Stalker 9 is a wood grain face made by T-Berry, and I think it's AM... Upper, I know it's AM, upper and lower sideband, and it may have FM on it. I can't remember off the top of my head. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it might have FM in it. That was a great radio. Okay, next. Emperor TS-5010. The Emperor TS-5010 would be the competitor to this. They had the Ranger 2950, which I am totally not a fan of because I've had four of them, and all of them were crap. Every one of them were absolute turds. Every I know I'm going to get heat for this because... Some guys love these 2950s, but in Michigan, when it gets cold, the lithium battery that's in a 2950 will die, and you'll be stranded with a display that doesn't work, and you'll be stuck. This 2510 never did that. All right, uh, the, the TS5010 is a great radio. It will talk hand-in-hand -hand with the 2510. Okay, what do you got? PC-122 Uniden. Okay, the Uniden PC-122. Here's the, the little trick. You didn't know that Realistic made a PC-122. They just put their face for Realistic on that radio. It's exactly the same guts as the PC-122, the Uniden version. The Uniden version has four LEDs. I hate that LED RF meter because there's no swinging RF meter. It's just LEDs. All right, next. Pro 510 XL. Okay. A, a Pro 510 XL is itty bitty. Itty bitty. Yeah. Tiny little radio. You wouldn't think anything of it because it's just an itty bitty radio. But that thing will rock. If you cut it, I'm going to tell you, cut the mod limiter and let it rip. And that thing will scream. Most Pro 510 XLs that I've ever done up with peaking and tuning turn up really well. They talk great. And it's itty bitty. So if you've got a car... You don't want to stick a gigantic radio in. Pro 510 XL. All right, next. Superstar 3, 3600. 3600 and 3900. Okay, so the Superstar was an off-brand radio. It was not very popular. It didn't get out like the Cobra brands and the Unidens. It was a smaller niche thing. But the 3600 and the 3900 were both outstanding radios. Not very easy to find. And usually when you find one... They're tweaked up already, and somebody's already gone in them. So you got to be aware of what you're buying with some of this. All right, next. Uniden PC 66 XL. Okay, here's a sleeper for you. People are not going to know this, but that PC 66 XL is an outstanding radio. I'm not sure if it's the exact same board as a 25 LTD. It may be. I'm not positive on that. But I know I've got two of the 66 XLs. And both of those things are rompers on the air. You key down on those, and you're going to get heard. All right, well, the last one, what do you got? 99V. Okay. I get a lot of guys that hate Galaxy. Okay. I understand why. why. 
because on sideband, if you're on sideband, it kind of floats. You know how our 696 will kind of drift every once in a while? we got to play with yeah. the clarifier to go back. Some of the 99Vs had this problem, and most of the 949s, the 959s, do the drifting thing when it's cold. I get it. I understand why people don't like it, but I can't tell you that the 99V is a bad radio because every 99V I've ever heard or used has ruled on the air. Every one of those things that gets tweaked up have been outstanding rigs. Now, I mind you, this is just our little list of what we think is good. Now, when, you, when you're out there and you're buying radio equipment and you see stuff like this, realize unless you're getting it for a deal and you're planning on using it for parts or you really like the nostalgic of whatever brand this stupid radio is that's not a good radio if you've got that niche for collecting that cool that's great but if you're just buying these things to buy these you're basically throwing your money out the window that's where we're going with this right yes so like at the rate of stuff now you see people putting stuff on Facebook market or you may go to a garage sale and you see a boatload, a box of old radios like this, and or tube stuff. Tube stuff is old. All the capacitors will be dried up in it. The diodes are going to be bad, odds are. You're going to have resistors that are just shot. Everything that's old is going to not be good, and you're going to have to put more work and money into it. And in the end, you're left with something that's still not a good talking radio. When you can do a little research and buy a good a good talking radio, right? Yes. Now, like, some of these radios that we named, people may be like, oh, no, uh, uh, Pace 145 is garbage. Dude, this is my own personal and our own personal using so we know what we've got and we know what performs. That is our opinion. Not everybody's going to have the same no. opinion, obviously. Just like the 99V where people are going to be like, oh, that's a, I hate that radio, it drifts. I, I warned you that could happen with this, but it's an outstanding radio. These are all radios that we know can be hot rotted up, right? Yes. So don't waste your money on stuff that's like this, or you're going to be stuck with a pile of these things like I do, right? Yeah. I got probably 60 oh, radios. Yeah, no, there's so many. Probably 100 radios. There's about like 10 sitting. Yeah, there. I got 10 sitting over here just right now. But I, old stuff like this, Unless you plan on parting it out or using it for pieces, which is cool because I get it. You've got radios yeah. and you're going to need pieces for them, but it gets to be redundant after a while. Don't waste your money on this. And yes, manufacturers made a bunch of garbage radios. It's just like a car. You can buy a Pinto where you get hit in the rear and the car explodes and it's garbage. That's No, that's a cool car. Or you can buy a Ferrari and go somewhere and actually do something good and be fast, right? Yeah. You don't want to you don't want to buy a turd radio, right? No. Okay. So when I see dudes at flea markets or whatever with boxes of old 23 channel radios, unless it's something I see that's collectible, I'm not buying it anymore. It's a waste of money, right? Yeah. And as far as like parts, some of these parts, some of these parts won't even work on stuff like a 29. If it's not helping me in that aspect, I'm not buying it that way either, right? Mhm. Mm so it's be smart, do your research before you dump your money, or you're going to end up with 85 old radios sitting there collecting dust that ain't going to do anything and won't talk good. The last thing you want is something that don't talk good, right? Yeah. All right, so everybody have a good day. We're going to do a base station video next, so you guys know what we think is good, and you guys can comment below and let us know what you think is good. Now, I know there's some road talker radios in there. Somebody's probably biting their fingers telling me, there's road talkers. I had a couple of road talkers. They're okay radios. As far as being wrecking machines, talk and skip, hammer and amplifiers, a couple of them, maybe two or three of them. But for the most part, I did, I was not a road talker fan. Right? Yeah. How many road talkers do you think we even own? I don't even think we own him two. No, I don't, we don't have many of those. I don't think we got two. All right, everybody, have a good day and be cool. Be cool. He be cool to you. What, do you want to tell him anything else? Have a good day. Double be cool. We're out.